My name is Emily McLaughlin. I'm a plastic surgeon and I've had plastic surgery for breast cancer. As part of my practice, you know, you have a breast cancer patient and women invariably patients ask, what would you do? And it, I always hesitated because it seems like, to borrow from a legal term, you're leading the witness. I won't, why would I tell you, if I tell you what I'm gonna do, you're gonna do what I said. And that may not be right for you. I had a screening mammogram, which I almost didn't have because my, I didn't have my, an annual appointment. And I sort of thought I dodged a bullet. I'm like, I'm so glad I didn't have to deal with that this year. And I said, very irresponsible. I ordered my own mammogram just to check that off my list. And as a physician, you get your own reports. And the next day, and I've, just, I've signed off on my own mammogram for years, normal, done, see you next year. And this time on the left side, it was new or increasing calcifications. And I thought, wow, didn't, who, who knew? Who, thought, who would have thought? Need additional views. And so I went in for the additional views and I was anxious about it, but I still believed it was nothing. And they do the additional views and then the radiologist says, Emily, do you want to? And I'm like, well, I am so fancy. I'm so special. I'm gonna, he's gonna show me the, well, now when you have cancer, you get escorted apparently to look at the views. And so I had a biopsy on a Tuesday and I cried. I laid there and I cried because I thought, what? This is awful, I'm terrified. I was so scared. And I remember laying there going, how, how many patients have I sent for biopsy? And I sort of would like, you're fine. And I'm laying here in tears, so it's changed everything about. Yesterday, I talked to a patient that needs a biopsy. And I said, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go whatever, if you need me to be there. The radiologist called, and he said, it's high-grade DCIS. And I said, okay. The next call was to Danielle LeBlanc, a colleague and a very good friend who knew I was having the biopsy. And I said, I need you to find out if I'm a candidate with the breast oncologist for double mastectomy and implant reconstruction. And that was it. And three weeks later, that happened. I mean, as vain as I am, head to toe, I never wanted cancer, and I needed cancer gone. So my answer was, go. And I didn't, I mean, I never even thought about, there's magnificent flaps and wonderful different options. And for me, it never occurred to me. I said, just double mastectomy and implants, and we're done. So in two and a half years, my cancerversary is the date you have cancer eradicated. So my cancer anniversary is June 22nd. It'll be three years this year. I've had six operations. I never needed chemotherapy. I never needed radiation. So I'm blessed and I'm, I'm good. I'm healthy and I'm well and I'm happy and I made a great decision and, and I share that with everyone. I'm like, ask about this. Is prepectoral an option? Is this an option? Here's what you need to ask about. Knowledge is power. And so I think I found a voice in breast cancer and a platform. I started a nonprofit. We've raised a lot of money for great, great um, resources in Fort Worth. And it's part of my story. And I, I mean, if, if I could go back, I say this all the time, I don't know that I wouldn't have had, knowing where I am now, I think cancer somehow gave me more than it took away and no one can say that. So I don't say that in a cavalier fashion, but it's, opened my eyes to a lot of things.